Senator, I wanted to ask you, we're both Jewish Americans and we're American Jews. I know that I'm very offended by some of the rhetoric that's emanating from the administration that is anti-Semitic. Accusations against Schumer of dual loyalty and some of these anti-Semitic canards are quite scary in my view and I'm worried that anti-Semitism is being mainstreamed by the administration. Are you concerned as I am? Well, it's very unjustified. I mean, you can't pin it down to a particular person, but that that's coming out and here, here's what I say to it. If you look at the public opinion polls, taking among all a random sample of Americans, there's like 55 or 60 percent of the American people are against this agreement with Iran because they know you can't trust Iran and they know it's a bad agreement. 25 or 30 percent for. Now Jews only constitute about two percent of the population here, so those are mostly non-Jews, Americans who are patriotic and know an enemy when they see one. So I, I really re resent any suggestions that anybody is, is, uh, has a dual loyalty. Chuck Schumer is a proud and patriotic American, and he opposed this proposal because he thinks it's bad for America. That's 100% that's clear. Well, his statement was very powerful, as was Senator Menendez, who is now under indictment. I fear that there might be pressure like that on Democrats. I've never been in Washington as a senator, as a representative. I'm not sure if there is that type of thing that comes from uh, just having pressure with your party leaders. Is that something that occurs? I, 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 don't, I hope not. I mean, you know, we, ultimately, in a legal case, the judge has to rule. And uh, judges are above politics pretty much entirely in our country. So I, I'm, I'm uh, but I give uh, Senator Menendez a lot of, a lot of credit because you, you might say, he, he, people might think because he's in this legal case, he, he would lay low. No, he feels so deeply about this, what it means to America. He stood right out and spoke from his heart and his head. He gave a great statement as did Chuck Schumer. Well, I have one final question. I'm sure that you watched Obama's interview uh, sponsored by the Jewish Federations of North America on Friday. I found the um, th there was a lot of dishonesty in, in his uh, couching of the deal. I don't think he was forthcoming. But did you have a chance to watch that? And, and were you concerned that the many Jewish Americans watching it were also uh, not quite as informed as we might have believed what he said? Yeah. Believe it or not, I didn't watch it. <laughs> I had something else I had to do Friday afternoon. But I read about it, and um, you know, some of those arguments uh, that the choice is between this agreement and war, totally wrong. If this agreement is rejected, um, the Europeans will probably still deal with the Iranians. There won't be war, and eventually the Iranians will come back to the table with us because they will want us to end sanctions. In fact, there will be more, more likelihood of a war if the agreement is approved because the Iranians will have so much more money to give to Hezbollah and Hamas. Uh, you know, the president's for this. It's part of his legacy. I, I just think it's such a bad deal. Look, we're the greatest country in the world, militarily, economically. Iran is probably a third-rate power and yet they dominated these negotiations. They came with nothing but bluster, and we came with them under tremendous economic pressure, and we gave it away for nothing. So, uh, what can I say? I just feel really strongly about it. Thank you, Senator. Very appreciate your time. Thank you.